thank you all for coming. From our own experiences, we know that <laughs> nothing can take away the grief of those affected by tragedy. We also know that Americans have a history of rising to meet great humanitarian challenges and of providing hope to suffering peoples. As men and women across the devastated region begin to rebuild, we offer our sustained compassion and our generosity and our assurance that America will be there to help. We have come together to express our country's sympathy for the victims of a great tragedy. More than 150,000 lives are estimated to be lost, including 90,000 in, in Indonesia alone. As many as 5 million people are thought to be homeless or without food or shelter. Thousands more are missing and millions are vulnerable to disease. Across the United States this week, our flags will fly at half staff to honor the victims of this disaster. To draw even greater amounts of private donations, I have asked two of America's most distinguished private citizens to head a nationwide charitable fundraising effort. Both men, both presidents, know the great decency of our people. They bring tremendous leadership experience to this role, and they bring good hearts. The devastation in the region defies comprehension. More than 150. I ask every American to contribute as they are able to do so.